Happy Saturday. Another day. More work on Rustina. So I took the roof supports off, as you can see. Cut them out. Um, I don't know if you remember when I told you when the guy got the car, the lady used to put stuff on the roof. That's why there's creases on it. Well, she bent the roof supports. So I cut them out. As you can see, I drilled them. And then right there. And then I just sprayed them with some... Uh, I wire wheeled them and then sprayed them with some undercoating. And then this is the what I'm doing on the inside. Sound deadener. Also on the roof. And then I'll go ahead and, and I'll, I'll do the center spot there. And then uh, put the weld the root supports back in. I'm using the rattle trap. Extreme. Um, good reviews and bad reviews. So unfortunately it's not a butyl rubber. This is the asphalt style. So I don't know. I hope it's okay. I don't really want to do this again. But I bought 100 square feet of it, and it should be way more than enough to do this. Um, so we'll see. I'll just leave it like this for a while and run it this summer with the exposed like that and see what happens. And then, uh, I guess, work on some other stuff. That's what I'm doing. Maybe uh, work on the steering while this stuff dries. Get that on. Anyway. That's what I'm doing, and I'll bring you guys back when I have something else. All right, let me show you what's gotten done. Still, same roof. Braces are in. Welded in on uh, either side and front and back. So let me give you a little test here. Ready? Yeah, I know it's a hammer, but gives you an idea. Another stuff on the roof, but here's the difference. None here. Here. Timmy. Even over here. Otherwise, it'd sound like this. Well, there's that. I'm gonna get this carpet out probably and work on getting uh, that side done. So I'll work on that and uh, bring you back when I got progress from there. And maybe I'll bring you back when uh, I start laying it down, so. Oh, what is it? It's Monday, a week later from the sound deadening video. Um, that you're actually gonna just watched um, It's all part of the video. I just didn't get it posted. I don't think it was long enough. So anyway Zoom back out Still waiting on the radiator FedEx still has it still sitting at the hub. I've called them several times. They're like we'll call you back I don't hear back from them, but This came in Transmission clutch over here and we got some bell housing and flywheel but that's it oh speedo cable too still waiting for the other parts uh, I don't know if I showed you I I did show you the inside I'm waiting I ordered actually um, the steel shifter hump that goes on there so I know where that's supposed to go Cross member clean and painted and then I'll show you what I'm doing underneath the car so I haven't done this before so this is all new but I'm doing the run out on the bell housing trying to figure this out I'm at zero up top plus 18 thousands on the right plus 22 on the bottom and plus five on the left. So I'm thinking it's gotta go, you know, that direction. I'm not sure if I need 7,000 dowel pins or 14. 
and the fun is going to be pulling those dowel pins out. I can hit them from the back, but the headers are in there, so I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But anyway, the start of the Tremec install. That's what we're working on. Um, it's Monday. I called American Powertrain. I wanted to verify the dowel pin size and what I need. Waiting for them to call me back. I think I think I can I can get away with seven or really narrow it down to 14s. But anyway, that's the transmission. It's, it's pretty freaking cool. Flywheel, 168 tooth. Neither starter will work that I have. The mini starter here, the one I just put on, that's for 153. This one, that would probably work, but the header comes right through here and I would have to actually cut this out and then reclock the starter. Um, which is probably fine. There's two bolts here. There's one here, one in the back. And there's also one here that I have no idea how to get to. So, of course, order a new starter. Wait for that. Plus it sits in FedEx and then it's, who knows how long. It's so frustrating. Um, what else? What I'm tinkering with. Oh, my registration finally showed up. Pink slips finally showed up. Electric fans, I will worked on those a little bit. I don't know if I showed you those. Um, bunch of metal. I had to cut out the hole. And I ran some, uh, what do you call these? Blind nuts or rib nuts? I don't know. I plasma this out, doesn't look the greatest. But I hit it with the sander and cleaned it up. This thing's heavy. Each fan is supposed to pull 1870, so a total of what? 36, 37, 40. It's almost 4,000 CFM. That should do it. What else have I been doing? Cut some of the mufflers off. Took the boat out yesterday. For the last of the year, because it is October, what is it today, the 5th? Monday. Got it all cleaned up. Re-oiled the swim step. Put it away. Um, so that's it. That, that's what I'm waiting on. Uh, dowel fan removal. Um, I'll bring you guys back. Uh, maybe I'll do that today. Not really 100% sure. That's going to be fun, I think. Got the headlight bezels in, so that looks good, right? Which, uh, they got the new clips. The new little plastic inserts. Well, the first ones showed up with the wrong ones. Uh, what else did it change? Thermostat went for 160, and this is now 175, 185 sending unit. I think that's it. I think that's it. What else can I show you? Hmm. Sound deadener. So much better. It's getting there. <laughs> I really want to get this transmission in, but on the other hand, I really don't want to do it. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. I'm still waiting for the hydraulics on the clutch that's supposed to be here. That's sitting at FedEx also. All right, guys, well, uh, I'll bring you back when I get another video going or more progress. Anyway, have a good week. See ya.